Saturday AI Stories. This story is a work of AI fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this story are fictitious and do not portray actual people or events. The Eclipse. The air crackled with anticipation in Muncie, Indiana. On this crisp April morning, the date circled on just about every calendar, ubiquitous in shop windows. April 8, 2024, the day of the total eclipse. Excitement hummed beneath the surface of everyday life. Jane, owner of Beans and Beats, a cozy coffee shop on Tillotson Avenue, wrestled with a box of eclipse glasses. Two for ten. Folks, she announced, her voice laced with a nervous thrill. Every cup of joe came with a free pair, a strategy to lure in the eclipse enthusiasts. Business was booming. Over on campus, Professor Patel, Ball State University's astronomy guru, prepped his telescopes on the planetarium roof. He'd been waiting for this day for decades, a chance to witness totality here, in his adopted hometown of Muncie. Students milled around him, their faces a mix of scientific curiosity and wide-eyed wonder. Meanwhile, in a Yorktown apartment, Etta, a reclusive artist, wrestled with a different kind of eclipse. Her usually vibrant canvases lay abandoned, the world outside her window muted and gray. The thought of crowds sent shivers down her spine. Yet, a sliver of curiosity flickered within her. As the clock ticked closer to the magic hour, the town transformed. Sidewalks overflowed with people, their eyes skyward, faces shielded by the strange, darkened glasses. A collective hush fell as the first sliver of the sun disappeared. Birdsong ceased, replaced by an expectant silence. On the planetarium rooftop, Professor Patel hooped with delight as the moon took a bigger bite out of the sun. Students gasped, their awe echoing in the thinning sunlight. Even Jane, peeking out from behind the counter, felt a primal jolt course through her. Back in her studio, Etta felt a tug at her usual solitude. Curiosity gnawed at her. Hesitantly, she stepped outside, eclipse glasses perched on her nose. The world was an alien landscape, bathed in an eerie twilight. A single street lamp cast an elongated shadow, stretching grotesquely across the deserted street. Then, in that moment of celestial wonder, a robin chirped, a defiant speck of life against the darkened sky. The sunlight returned in a breathtaking crescendo. Cheers erupted from the streets, a wave of relief and exhilaration washing over the town. Glasses now off, Jane wiped a tear from her eye, a single word escaping her lips. Beautiful. Professor Patel beamed, his students chattering excitedly. Even Etta, a solitary smile gracing her lips, felt a newfound connection to the world outside. The eclipse, a brief celestial dance, had cast a spell on Muncie, reminding everyone of the awe-inspiring wonder that surrounded them, a wonder they could all share under the same sky. The End